artificial intelligence and the military is a big topic at the moment. Most militaries across the globe want some form of AI in their operations. But there are big challenges to the use of artificial intelligence in the military. There are limitations and there are key ethical questions that remain unanswered. And that's what my research looks at. It's quite literally a matter of life and death. We don't want to get to a point where AI is used to make a decision to take a life when no human can be held responsible for that decision. The history of warfare has shown us that the further a soldier is away from their target, the easier it is to make that kill decision. That starts with a crossbow, goes to the rifle, bombs, air power. Now we're at a point where the human is significantly removed from the kill decision, whether that is the soldier pressing the button to enact a decision, or whether that is the soldier being taken out of this decision loop entirely and the system making an autonomous decision. And that is why it is so important that we have regulations, that we have policies at the international level but also at the domestic level and even within military organizations. Otherwise, we risk that the increase of AI in warfare goes hand in hand with the increase of violence, of death in conflict and warfare. And that's a problem. The good news is that academic research has a great track record of influencing policy when it comes to warfare and weapon systems. A good example is nuclear weapons or perhaps landmines. In my role with the International Committee for Robot Arms Control, I work with government organizations to shape discourses to push against the unimpeded rollout of artificial intelligence. Through engaging with multiple stakeholders, this research can help curb the worst excesses of artificial intelligence in the military.